And now for an occasionally daily email with Excel. Hey everybody, welcome back to another daily or uh, weekly email with Excel. It's a Friday, that means it's time to read some email. So let's see what we've got. Our uh, first one comes from uh, Backstabber. He asks, hey Excel, how many questions do you get between each occasionally daily email? And how many do you throw away out of those? Um, well, um, right now I'm keeping all these in the chest. So you can see I got like quite a, quite a decent stash of emails to go through. Um, I would say, I don't know, man, this, this week's actually been crazy. I probably got maybe a hundred emails and this is just in the, the, the Minecraft mailbox outside, not the, uh, not the YouTube one, but I, I've gotten, uh, probably maybe a hundred this week. And I would say I threw out about 75% of those. Um, some of them were decent questions, but I decided there was a couple of them that were duplicate. So I maybe threw out one of the the duplicates and some of them were like okay questions but I didn't really know a decent way to answer them so they might have gotten thrown out but out of all those I, I saved about like maybe what was this 25 or so maybe 30 30 messages and I probably won't even get to all those I might end up chucking a few of those as the newer questions come in <laughs> so uh uh thanks for thanks everyone for the email by the way it's great to get that and that Let's me fill some time uh, during this daily email session anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question there. Uh, the next question comes from Dragon Shade, and they ask, Dear Excel, could you please try reading Finnish in Minecraft, please? It's Suomi in the language list. Uh, so here we go again. I don't really have any... Uh, I'm going to have to make a spot, I think, for grabbing items, but let me see. Okay, so... Language, Suomi, also known as Finnish, Volmus, and, oh boy, Takisin Pelian. Okay, well, I gotta make room for grabbing some stuff. I'm gonna throw your question away. Um, let's see, this thing is called, oh my god, really? Tililiata. Tililiata. There we go. Um, the books here are called Kirajalia. Kirajalia la 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 la. Um, we got a uh, Punakilavumpaba. Man, this is like reading, I don't know, Hawaiian or something. Punakua via Vila Lampu. Yeah, sure. Um, let's see, uh, the torch is a Sohutu. Soyuti, Soyuti, sweet yeah. Uh, pu, Puovi. Uh, what else we got? Window maybe. Lassie, Lassie. There you go. Good girl. Good Lassie. And uh, let me see one more. Got a Kakupu, Kakupu, Kakupupu Tami. Okay, there. Uh, that's enough of that. So there you go. There's uh, some finish for you, uh, or Sumi. Hope that was uh, not too embarrassing. Anyway, uh, I got a boring question here from uh, Rogue Realm slash Torms. Ask: Are you ever going to do a single player let's play on Minecraft? Thank you for your time. Um, so speaking of boring, um, that would be me trying to talk to myself while doing a single player version of Minecraft. Um, aren't I already bad enough doing these, uh, daily emails while talking to myself? It would be, like, four or five times worse if I were to just do a Let's Play and try and talk to myself. Um, at least I have your questions here to make things a little more interesting, but, uh, I don't know. I would think a Let's Play would be pretty boring with me trying to run things. I, I'm pretty terrible at talking to myself, and I would just probably end up humming and hoeing the whole time. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, next question there. Aya33 asks, Dear Excel, do you ever plan on doing YouTube videos with other YouTubers like Gizzy Gaza and Sato Sorcerer? Um, really, if they let me, I'm definitely open for it. I'm sort of the small man on the, the pecking order now because I'm not as well known in Minecraft as they are, so 
I'm kind of leaving it up to them if they want to do that. I didn't want to bother them because I'm sure they're very busy. And if it ever comes to that, then sure, I guess we'll do videos together. Um, well, I guess we'll see what the future holds. Um, uh oh, here's a question about my wife. Um, <laughs> uh, who's it by? It's from NoobPod. Oh boy. Dear Excel, does your wife like that you make YouTube videos? Um, sure, I guess is it if it brings her shopping money, which it doesn't really. So, well, maybe she will in the future. I don't know. She doesn't care. She, she lets me have a hobby. It's better than like drinking and gambling with friends, I guess. Um, next question comes from another unlisted person. It is Neko5996. And they ask, uh, what's the story behind your name? Please tell the story using chickens. Uh, okay, so I guess I can need some chickens here. Um, all right. So, um, so one day I was, uh, uh, logging into the internet for the first time, kind of like this bird here popping into the world for the first time. And I didn't have a name, much like this chicken doesn't have a name. Oh my God, that, oh, I thought he just threw himself in the fireplace. There you go. So, uh, I was wandering around the world, uh, with no name, and, uh, they wanted me to pick a nickname, because it was, that's the kind of thing the internet does. It says, uh, what's your name? So, not being very creative at the time, I looked around for something to give me inspiration for a name, and I saw the keyboard in front of me, and spacebar sounded like a kind of a stupid name, and so did question mark, but I saw the uh, number one key with the exclamation point on it, and decided, okay, that works. So I went with the name Exclamation, and little that, little did I know the internet hates uh, things with more than two or three syllables. So everybody immediately started abbreviating it, abbreviating it as Excel, and lo and behold, I became Excel from then on. And that was way, way, way back then when the internet was invented. Uh, since then, I've done video games and stuff, and have been known as Excel. Uh, for this game, I'm actually known as the Real Excel, and that's because. Um, everyone started taking the name Excel for some reason, and I haven't been able to get it lately. It kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, let me see. Next question. Uh, this one's from Knight's Dawn, and they ask, Dear Excel, what would you do if your wife's... Bleh. Let's try that again. Dear Excel, what would you do if your wife and kids interrupted you during recording? Uh, probably the same thing I do for, like, all of my videos, like at least two or... Th hold on. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, um, yeah. So I, I, you probably get the gist of it. Um, the uh, next question is from uh, Runixon. They ask, uh, "Dear Excel, is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? I'm caught in a landslide, and there's no escape from reality." Okay, you just need to open your eyes. Um, you know, just look up into the skies and see that I'm just a poor boy. I don't really need any sympathy because I'm easy come and I'm easy go. So. It's a little high, it's a little low. Anyways, any way the wind blows, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, so last question. Um, Dear Excel, why not build a really high building and then jump off of it? Uh, okay. So yeah, here we are on uh, top of my chimney. Um, actually I actually had to put this way up in the air because there was like environmental standards. I didn't want so much pollution polluting the town, so I had to kind of throw it up in the stratosphere here. Uh, yeah, so here's my, uh, my diving board off my chimney, and there goes your question. Let's go after it. Whee! I caught it. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. This has been an occasionally daily email with Excel.